Okay, in this problem, we're asked to find the inverse of a matrix given as first row is 1, 2, negative 3, second row is 2, 6, negative 2, and the third row is negative 1, 1, 4. Okay, so we know that if the inverse exists, then when we augment the matrix, with the identity matrix, um, we will get the identity on the left hand side when we put it into reduced row echelon form. So we'll go ahead and put this into reduced row echelon form. So first step we can, we already have a one in the first position, so we just want to clear out the first position in the second, two, second and third rows. So we'll take We'll set row 2 equal to negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2. And then for row 3, we'll just add row 1 to row 3. So when we multiply negative 2 times row 1, we get negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and 1 plus negative 1 is zero as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Negative four plus six is two. Two plus one is three. So we get the matrix as follows. The second row, the first row remains the same. The second row is changed to zero, two, four, negative two, one, zero. And the third row is zero, three, one, one, zero, one. Okay, so now we want to, we can go ahead and scale it, multiply the second row by multiple of one half to get a one in the second position um, along the diagonal. So we'll just let row two equal one half row two. We can go ahead and just do this right, right in here. So our second row changes to 0, 1, 2, negative 1, 1 half, 0. Okay, so we can go ahead and erase that. And now we want to clear the 3 in the third row. So we'll, we'll let row 3 equal negative 3 times row 2. Plus row 3. So negative three plus three is zero, and we have a zero in our second, or in our third row of the second column. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so our first and second rows remain the same, and our third row gets transformed to 0, 0, negative 5, or negative 3 halves, 1. So we, have, so we can see that all we need to do is scale our third row by a factor of negative 1 fifth. And we have ones all along the diagonal.
Okay, so our third row transforms to 0, 0, 1, negative 4 fifths, 3 tenths, negative 1 fifth. Okay, so now we know that um, we can, since we have an upper triangular matrix on the left, we know that we're going to be able to deduce this down to just the identity matrix uh, column, or with the diagonals all one. So we know that our matrix is invertible. So in order to actually find the inverse, we're going to ha have to clear out these three values. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we'll clear out this 2 and this negative 3. So we'll let So we'll let row 2 be equal to negative 2 times row 3 plus row 2. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And for row 1, we'll let that be 3 times row 3 plus row 1. So we have 3 plus a negative 3 clears the 0, makes a 0 there too. So we'll have all zeros except for this 2 that we need afterwards. So we have 1, 2. Okay, so for our second row, we have negative 2 times row 3. So negative 2 times 4 fifths is 8 fifths plus or minus 1. So we have a positive three-fifths in this position, and then negative two times three-tenths is negative six-tenths, plus one-half is going to be negative one-tenth. And then finally we have negative two times negative one-fifth is positive two-fifths, plus zero is two-fifths. Okay. We keep the third row the same. And then finally for row 1, we have 3 times row 3 added to row 1. So 3 times negative 4 fifths is negative 12 fifths plus 1 is negative 7 fifths. And then 3 times 3 tenths is 9 tenths plus 0. And negative 3 fifths is our last term. So we have we all, we're almost uh, at the identity matrix on the left-hand side of our augmented matrix. And the, all that's left to, to do is let row 1 equal negative 2 row 2 plus row 1 to clear out this 2. And then our matrix on the right-hand side of the matrix, of the augmented matrix, is our inverse of our matrix. So we have 1, 0, 0. So we have the identity on the left hand side. And then we have negative 2 times 3 fifths is negative 6 fifths. Plus a negative 7 fifths is negative 13 fifths. And a, negative, and a negative 2 times negative 1 tenth is a positive 2 tenths, plus 9 tenths is 11 tenths. And negative 2 times positive 2 fifths is negative 4 fifths, minus 3 fifths 
is minus 7 fifths, and the remaining column or rows remain the same. So we're left with our identity, or we're left with the identity on the left hand side and our inverse matrix on the right hand side. We can go ahead and factor a one tenth out when we're writing our inverse. So we have And we're left with our inverse matrix is 1 tenth times the matrix negative 26, 11, negative 14 as the first row. Second row is 6, negative 1, 4. And our third row is negative 8, 3, negative 2. So this is our inverse of our matrix 1, 2, negative 3, 2, 6, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 4.